It's Drystone introducing with Mark Smith. Uh, I've got in the studio, in the other studio, I've got Jay Bravo and DJ Agent M and Emma Walker. They do a bit of a live exclusive set for us. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic, so I'll let them uh, take it away in the other studio. Yeah. Live at Drystone Radio, Jay Bravo. Agent M on the ones and twos. Listen. Mm. You see friends every six months in next circles? Don't trust them. They're gonna always hurt you. See friends change when they get a bit of change. And the plan to roll with you gets rearranged. You see friends get gyaled and they duck, man. Come back ground crying and she chucks, man. I've had that happen with one or two friends. But I've never had that with my true friends. The day dots to one of them few friends. The back dens, the down by law. Real friends don't multiply. We're the last of a dying breed. New blacks, ready to rule and breed sea. So we must stick together. Class of 9 9 turn the uncivilized. Civilized these times. On me Caesars, on books, on me Nylas. Hear this, Cobra trying to get the guns out and destroy us. Try share my name and choice of commitments. Not like us, not hard to see the difference. I'm nice still, the face don't look bothered. Right then, mush me your mucker, let's build a next scheme. One's got a smash, success by the mass, booze, birds and brass. I'm just here to win, you don't have to lose, but you gotta start sticking to them old school rules. Always start going round saying shame, now you know your name. Always start going round saying shame, now you know your name. Always start going round saying shame, now you know your name. Always start going round saying shame now you know your name God forgive us, we don't really want to be sinners But our backs against the wall like pinups Some do what they want, others do what they can But you have to be where I'm from to understand Round here, you don't only see the scraps on the chips Nothing sweet, till you put the snaps to my lips One boy, two teeth, got three shots I ain't seen nothing like that, but I've seen lots Enough to know no love from the heartless These mofos act like they've no fathers Only gets colder, wear certain wallet She kept getting slap shots, it tears at the bullet Clubs are different these days as well, blood Cocaine's a hell of a drug, let me tell ya Don't bring stress to me, me old China I'm not to be messed with, but that's a minor Going around saying shame, now you know your name We start going around saying shame, now you know your name Shame, you know your name You know what you were doing when you were chatting that whoop 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 all over the track that you were ruining with that poop poop. I lost two screws, served two scoops. Had man telling me chill, man like Bruce Bruce. You the fuck I need captain with a deuce deuce. Y'all said you need a body of proof, Bruce. When pushed, I yam them up like couscous. Get fast, but gas without a pulse boost. Yeah, I know this too. On your own bars, take days. You need someone to assist you. My execution rate's exquisite. Songs are done in about 26 minutes. When assisted with Guinness, J dot business. Thinking I'm like works dumber than Lloyd Christmas. Too big to clash at you crying on YouTube. Cause I won round two when you know it's true. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. J Law Pan has many styles. Pick one you like. Even when slanting, I'm outstanding. Soon as I'm done here, heading high five, skanking. No chat, no chopping us today to me. Not in the mood for what you're saying to me. Not falling for what you're portraying with me. So you best stop playing with me. Yeah, man. We're just having fun on a Sunday morning. You know? Yeah. If you know the word, sing along, yeah? Yeah. Sing along if you know the song And if you don't know the words Just nod along Yeah I always felt like my life should have been better So I walk round like guy on a vendetta See the media get a pass and I feel bitter On a wild goose chase get no fitter Expect the worst, hope for the best Keep my eyes on the legs and just hope for the breast Should I aim high or settle for less? Bad vibes all around me provoking the stress If we've all got problems who cleans up the mess? 
buy a big HD for the mum we're blessed Then it's back to split shifts, breaking backs The more brass we make, the more they raise the tax Put pressure on us, so we stay on the grind If I don't tell them about my overtime, I'm where I like You want the bills paid or not, blood? Make up your mind Or it's long overdue, you better get in the line the same bull, just a different culprit. The same bull, just a different culprit. The same bull, just a different culprit. Snakes on road, I gotta dodge vipers. Lose it out the blue, I gotta spot snipers. Many roads to hell, bear devils invite us. Most are under the impression God does not like us. Politics, we fall for tricks. When it hits the fan boxing days, too sick. He just dipped in the cookie jar, time to flip. Girls in the bad lane, cause she tried to skip. How the palm palm down all the time, we were rain. It came out in two weeks, he's on the front. They don't chat no more, but she's back with him. He comes off the phone to her with the silliest grin. My brethren's back in town, just visiting. The thing he always asks, how bad has it been? Well, same bowl, just different corporate. Middle finger up for them who are pulling. Same bowl, just a different corporate. The 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 same bowl, just a different corporate. We used to laugh at the kids wreaking havoc. Be on some madness, windows got smashed in Jacking up man for the walkman Anyone walking with any kind of flash man were hawking 20 dudes in flat corridors pulled, pulled up, would you like to know more? Arson, vandalism, glue sniffing Yeah, I used to get battered, certain wicked Last man at no gyms, used a pack of skittles That didn't work, it got burnt, am I kidding? No, five volts up there the most Watch man hide in the face in the evening post I go crazy first living in Leeds Where shutters on the blocks make the bread Cops get shots to the head Man are dying at 25, nobody cares Gotta separate the friends from the backstabbers Gotta tell the cash grabbers it's a bad habit Gotta tell the young thing slow down, plenty of time Whatever it takes to purify minds What's wrong in the zone, you gotta recognise signs As long as I'm around, I'm looking after mine The same bull, just a different culprit same bowl, just a different culprit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dry Stone Radio introducing. I'm feeling good. Mm. Keep this going. Live at the home and Natalia kills It's Bravo showing, proving I got skills I put in work, getting my hand in dirt You love to talk like Randall and clerks You love to talk like Chris Tucker in Rush You waste hours, getting wasted I need respect power, I earn mine from day to today I don't play, you hear me now say from Lion I'm just trying to be out there Get seen out there, leads out there See the scene out there Got these crazy vocals, they have been out there Hotter than Venus there Office at Leeds Uni, you seen us there At the Ghostface event, cleaned up there When it comes to the skills, we up there So why do I see Honey G up there? Life ain't fair, but I ain't gonna mourn I keep stacking funds, I ain't getting alone And bit by bit I'm getting on Appreciate all the help every step of the road I used to smoke green, I never did lean Not loving all these kids on codeine But I was on Alka Pops at 14 So who am I to intervene? Just stay safe And don't let peer pressure tech you Ain't nothing soft about saying no thank you You don't have to walk that way, just walk away Embark on your own path, it starts today Am I making sense or just rambling? On a tangent, thought scrambling I'm just trying to get out my bars I swear I'm talented This is how hip hop's supposed to sound Mumbling on the mic, I don't know them clowns I'm from Chapel Town, we don't ramp around Got bars for days, want the power waves At the Sunday face off, I don't play Known everywhere for the bar on hair If it's not about the culture, I'm not there If you're not about the bars, you'll get part. I'm from the best team in Leeds, we will get far Taught you to aim and kill, cover all grounds Say it loud, Northern I'm proud Though you can't put us down, we shut down Got nine lives, it's like we don't die Rest in peace Kareem as the song cries 
Do my best to keep your spirit alive Strive to move as godly mankind Can't touch heaven, how high did you climb? Used to be looked at so strange Funny how times change Now I'm at the front Watching the ace face the champ While you're at the back With the sour face looking trampy Real understand me Fakes wanna shank me But no they can't grip the mic And outrank me I snatch that Then snatch the catch of the day Hashtag that You ain't got a patch on the greatest I spit like I already live in Las Vegas The bang 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 of the drums harass neighbours But one good listen They'll ask if I'm famous And ask if they can look up what my name is and by the way, it's J Bravo C A G. And the style is Bruce Leeds. Big up DJ Agent M. Let's keep this going. Yeah. I took the fiver off the desk for a bit of food. He couldn't afford to get to the job for the interview, rang them and announced that he had to press phone. They was like, sorry mister, you missed the window. Seems like you don't care enough to go the distance. Nine other candidates, sure we can pick one. HR consultant, 31 grand a year, blew it, he shed a tear. But no, he knew he put the money right over there By the keyboard, put two and two together I slide it on the D-Low He flipped out, smacked me all up When he saw me go road, that's it Nothing to talk about, don't fun Granddad's funeral, I seen him at the way My brother's eyes still fill with hate It was not the same He only spoke to me to call me Kane 20 hours as a courier's causing strain All him and his gal did was row when in Spain Lack of self-worth, takes it out on the band Never told me himself, I had a word with Nan I gotta beg forgiveness when I get the chance When you carry on living like anything goes you find out soon enough that's not the smartest thing though Someday soon We must pay the price for the things we do Truth must come to light Someday soon, when the trumpet calls, what will you choose to do? Truth will come to light. Yeah, just another sleepover. Kids hang out, start to hear sounds of the mums getting banged out. That's peak, quick ting, tape and upload it. Worldstare.com, distribute, promotes it. Pop slide, what's my daughter doing round? Next man, next day, goes round the yard, all vexing, cuss his mum out. Yo, who was in the room with you? Ah, oh, now she got to tell him it was Stuart, his brethren. Brought the guy called, been round the house. This was the only time, just the time we found out about coming like a schedule all true square that look see her over there that was just a year back used to be the bum thing now she's all murky why does anyone want to be a molly out hermit threats that her daughter's going in social service daughter carries all the guilt but she don't deserve it question remains who's to blame the fact the channel put it up knowing kids don't know the game who really knows all I know is a pop's locked up and Stuart's got a permanent broken nose When you carry on living like anything goes You find out soon enough that's not the smartest thing though We must pay the price for the things we do Truth must come to light someday soon when the trumpet calls, what will you choose to do? Truth will come to life. Some day soon, we must pay the price for the things we do. Truth must come to life. Some when the trumpet calls, what will you choose to do? Truth will come to life. Yeah, man. Mm. 
much thank Dry Stone Radio introducing the Haveners. Matt Smith, big up yourself. Yeah. Mm. I ain't too black for scrumpy jack blood. Oh God, then yo, what's up with that blood? Coco, can you let me sup at that blood? Hard time telling me when to stop blood. That's how it goes on a Friday night blood. Hyde Park hunting, I just might blur. She look real pretty, don't she talks crap blur. But I ain't for she's acting like she might. Ooh. Chocolate skin, not so slim. Big in the right places, so I go in. My taste is particular, I got a type. I seen you with yours, I wouldn't act hype. Taking bare selfies and Skype plots. Think she bummed, you must be Cyclops. Only hoes I go with her eye hops. So I had to go through some dry spots. Hyde Park is a roll of dice. Might run into rappers trying to earn their stripes. So let's battle. Seen as you think you all so nice. I throw shade for a minute like Obi tries. Look, I've never been relevant, but that's irrelevant. I'll open fire like the Ark of the Covenant. On stage, I'm dominant. Adonis, in perfect shape like Adonis. You claim I'm anonymous, no name. Bad move, now you set up for more shame. Who's that guy kicking up dust? It's a must. I get reloads all day. How you still gassed up on that same style? I had eight year olds doing that same style. You get bodied on my grave shift. Now let me get back to my rave shift. Dr. Vogg, turn up the house. We heard about the party through word of mouth. If you missed it, you missed out. That's that. You was there last year, they might not wanted your back. No idiots allowed. Only safe people amongst the crowd. Only the ladies that are legal around. Made new friends earlier, they was in town. And now we getting down. We getting rowdy and bowdy till bull turn up and shut it down. Now we getting down. We getting rowdy and bowdy till bull turn up and shut it down. Now we getting down. We getting rowdy and bowdy, bull turn up and shut it down. Till then we getting down. We getting rowdy and bowdy. Yeah. Yeah. Chapel Town Bone. Chapel Town Bread. Chapel Town Talk. Chapel Town Lent, Chapel Town Bro, Chapel Town Fed, Chapel Town Buds got a mouth from Chapel Town Red. Find the Chapel Town Gal and the Chapel Town Bed, Chapel Town Love from the Chapel Town Head. Man tried to my mouth from Chapel Town Step, man was found in the middle of Chapel Town Dead. Chapel Town Bone, Chapel Town Bread, Chapel Town Talk, Chapel Town Lent. Chopper Town brought, Chopper Town fed, Chopper Town bud got a mouth from Chopper Town red. Find the Chopper Town gal and the Chopper Town bed, Chopper Town love from a Chopper Town head. Mine tried up a mouth from Chopper Town step, I was found in the middle of Chopper Town. Hey, big up DJ Agent M on the ones and twos. It's been fun rocking. My name is Jay Bravo, C-A-G, Invisible Circle, The Office, Leeds Hip Hop. This, 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 this is Dry Stone Radio. Hi, I'm Sam Zucchini, you're the audience, and we're going to play the drums. We're gonna move along into something a little more challenging. Now, what we're gonna do is we're no longer just gonna be hitting this thing right here, this step part. We're gonna add this thing in here. Now, you may have something different at home, so it may be different than this and this. But what I ask you to do is find two different places to hit. One that sounds a little different than the other, okay? See how this sounds different than this? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. You find two different places that are comfortable so the right hand can play one place and be comfortable and the left is also comfortable. Okay? And
and something for your foot. Remember how I talked about at the beginning, something for the foot? So we've got three things. The right's gonna be up here now for me, the left down here for me, and the right over here. For you, choose something and stick with it. Now, if you've got a drum set, let me just sneak back here for a second. If you've got a drum set, the right is gonna be on this thing. Remember, this is called the hi-hat. The right foot is gonna be over here. That's the bass drum. The left foot is gonna be on the snare drum, okay? So it would be like this, okay? Back to here. We have got the right hand here, the left hand here, and the right foot here. All right, so first we're gonna get the foot going. Since we haven't done any foot stuff yet, I want you to count one, two, three, four, and I want you to play the foot on one, two, three, four, the right foot, okay? It's always the right foot. We're not doing anything with the left here today. Just the right foot, two, Three, four, let's add the band. Ready, go.
Join us three productions on Northern Freetown every Friday night from nine. Dry Stone Radio. And um, we've just done uh, a live set in the studio with uh, Jay Bravo and uh, DJ Agent M. Absolutely fantastic stuff, guys. Um, so when did you start getting into, obviously, music yourselves? When did you start sort of getting into sort of just production and obviously the rapping side of things? When did that all start for you guys? Um, I suppose for me, it's, oh gosh, it was probably like when I was like real young, really. Um, my brother got like a, a guitar for for Christmas and I got like a, a computer and um, like an Atari computer and basically they just had like a drum machine program so yeah it's like one day my brother went out and I nicked his guitar and I programmed some drum beats the basic drum beat and then after that I just bought a tape machine um, and then that kind of started everything really and then as technology just sort of grown I, I bought new things new computers um, to like obviously like with the whole sort of like logic and and stuff like that basically buying better like equipment to make better music really so mm. i mean we were just saying before um when uh we went to see the ghostface killer gig um you actually performed on stage didn't you jay brother yeah 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 i was um one of the open acts uh, along with my team the office so there was a few of us up there i think there was like seven of us up there and um yeah we did a good 20 minute set oh wow so um I mean, um, you've done a few albums, haven't you? You've done, obviously, the Uncanny EP, which is recently your latest release, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I've just played the longest longest song there, uh, which is a bit of a project, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, so what was um, what was all under the Uncanny EP actually take to produce, then, as a as an EP? Um, I suppose, like, that, that idea was probably about, if I'm honest, about probably, like, 10 years ago, but it was it's just literally about the means of your own production. If you've got the means to, to actually produce stuff and actually put it out, you know, it's you've got control over that. So for me, it was like, it was an idea that I wanted to put together. Um, but it was only probably about two years ago that I actually like started getting people together to actually kind of record it. Um, and then, yeah, basically about two years ago, and then it was just basically timing really to actually get it out there and learn how to get it out there properly. Um, as far as I could, because I didn't want to just have it and just, you know, it just reaches um, people in the neighbourhood. I wanted it to reach out to, like, everywhere as, as possible, basically, so, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm back in the studio with uh, the, the brilliant Jay Bravo, uh, DJ Agent M, and Emma as well. Hello, Emma. Hello. <laughs> um, so, this uh, would you consider yourself as a bit of a mentor then, Jay? Because, obviously, uh, from what I've very close with uh, Recky, if people don't know Recky, uh, from Leeds, who's a grime rapper and he's, he's, he's good. But, I mean, he says, he told, he's told me much about you and said that you sort of mentor some of the people in Leeds, like people like Petrelli, you know, and you spot people and go, you know, he's good, we need him on board. Do you sort of feel like you sort of that to people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, it's kind of what we grew up in our communities. We grew up, like, with that kind of instilled in us that we had to really look out for the youth and if we see potential in the mm. youth, we have to just give them some sort of guidance, some sort of stable um, stable structure around them where it's like they know that anything that they want to do, anything that they're interested in, that they've got um, people that will, that will help them, you know, point them in the right direction. So um, I got an opportunity to do that at a place called Future Arts. It was a workshop that um, ran in the city centre. And so there was a few of us there, Gemma Povey, um, Steve Pye, Jamal Cohen, and then quite a few others of us that were able to hold really good workshops, as w really constant workshops mm. every Monday as we used to do that. So that's where I met a lot of the youngsters around that you're seeing now that are really making moves to themselves. Mm. Do you guys believe that uh, the hip hop scene in Leeds is, is growing? Do you think it's because it's obviously when you obviously when you block people and think of Leeds, you think of house music and yeah. you think a lot of indie bands, don't you? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, from doing the show and stuff, obviously bringing you guys in, I found that there is, you know, there's a, there's a big group, there's a big interest in hip hop in Leeds, and the, there's a big group, and I think it's a bit of a community, isn't it? As well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's do you think it's grown and it's just going to continue to grow then? Yeah, I think I think the key thing is 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 kind of like collaboration. I think where like um, me and Bravo are like connected was through like the crew that we had, which was the Invisible Circle, and it was kind of like the the whole thing of you know you could say it's like Leeds version of Wu Tang Clan, but it was literally just 
everybody pulling our resources together to get stuff out, you know, was stronger together than being segmented. Do you know what I mean? So it's 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 kind of the same with the scene now. Kind of like being able to, if people need productions and studio time, helping people out. Do you know what I mean? Being able to promote people and get other people on on shows and stuff, and like radio as well, which is is key. You know what I mean? It's like it's that way of it's brilliant if if the scene's there, but it's no good if everybody else doesn't know. You know who's who and how to get to them. Do you know what I mean? So that's key to people actually, you know, yeah. getting to hear, mm. hearing and knowing what they're all about. I really want to ask you about your, your, the Uncanny EP. Obviously, you had features like Marcus Lee, people like that, BTI, I believe, as well, on Reveal. Reveal is my favourite track on, oh, the, on, on the EP. It's, uh, I keep saying it sounds like DJ Premier. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got that sort of vibe to it, old school. Um, I mean, how many... Was that a year production, or was it a bit longer, or was it a few months? Or? Oh, man. Um, I mean, like all the songs just sort of came together. The, the whole thing with um, the Reveal track was I, I made it... Um, on a like Facebook group, it was like a beat challenge. Um, so basically, I I produced the song, um, put it out um, as part of the Facebook group, and um, obviously like Tom, he heard it, um, liked it, and because we he'd, he'd been my mentor and stuff, he did a, a little freestyle over it, uh, showed me it, and I was just like, can we do a proper song out of this? Basically, so um, I kept badgering him, and then he actually, <laughs> he actually, you know, like actually laid down the proper vocals to it because he was just like, it's just a freestyle or whatever. But it was just like, no, I really like this, and um, yeah, that was basically how that track happened. And then mm. all the other ones um, uh, were like Jay Bravo, uh, me and my friend um, Harold, we actually, and uh, um, Lara Rose who, who who sings on it, um, we sort of wanted like Jay Bravo to be be on that track mm. so um yeah it was just basically my relationship with each individual um artist basically mm. wanting them to to basically just um basically put everything together and it's it's key what um, bravo was saying about ha having that community mind mindset basically um everybody that i've worked with they have that community mindset where they give back to the community mm. you know obviously with jay bravo um Thomas, who has done workshops, um, you know, Lara Wells has done a lot for for the community and stuff. Um, Marcus Lee as well done mm. workshops and stuff. Everybody's like got that community focus, and I thought that was you know great that you know we've we've got that we're giving something back. So yeah, it's great. I think I really admire the fact that you do that, and and in a lot of ways, I'm you know, it'll keep people out of trouble, won't it? And keep people focused on music and yeah, sort yeah. of positive stuff. And I think that's great. I think that's. Hands up to you, you know. I think that's the the hip hop kind of like mentality. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think the thing is, is like what you see um, commercially is different than you know the actual authentic hip hop. Do you know what I mean? It started in the community through through nothing. Do you know what I mean? And mm. that was a finger block party. Was the street party for everybody to be involved with? Do you know what I mean? And and that's that's what we we kind of do. You know, we, we have. Um, like block parties, we do. You know, we do all sorts in community of Leeds and oh, stuff yeah, yeah, for yeah. for reasons. Do you know what I mean? Emma does a lot for for like New Wortley. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's that people centric thing that's important. Having the purpose of why you're making the music and and having that positivity is it's important. It's yeah. uh, it's definitely. I'm back in the studio with. Jay Bravo, uh, Emma Walker, and uh, DJ Agent M, who's just done a set earlier in the show. If you were tuning in, absolutely fantastic stuff. I really liked the Missy Elliott you put in there. You know, the Miss, oh, Miss, yeah. 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 I noticed yeah, that when yeah, you, sent, yeah, yeah. you sent over the backing tracks last night. I was like, Missy Elliott was like, nice. I thought yeah, this is going to yeah. be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I love that song. That's like one of my favorite Missy Elliott songs and why you hurt me. And also, like, that that beat has been sampled quite a few times in, in hip-hop. There's been a few people who've had the versions of it. Um, Afro Ra, um, Nas has had, got a version mm. of it with his crew. So it was just a nice little throwback, you know, just to add my little twist to it, you know. Yeah. Mm. I actually saw Nas at Leeds Fest. It was ace. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, it was ace. Like, I, I, I put it on my <laughs> Facebook video, but... Mate, I, I, I cried. It was emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, all I, that's all I can say. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't cry at Ghostface, man, because like, when I shook his hand, it was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, yeah. I, when I actually met him, he was, it wasn't, I think the thing with Ghostface and Wu-Tang, it's not them as individuals. It's just how many of there actually is. There's, there's loads of them, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, you know, yeah. It's not just one. You know, you can't just meet one on their own. It has to be about 
30 of them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was surprised I got to meet their DJ, J Love. Like, he's very popular in the mm, underground hip hop scene. Yeah. Like, I've got quite a few of his mixtapes. He's, 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 um, He's known for getting quite a lot of unreleased material, like very rares, and and so I was I was more like amazed to meet him because you know mm. you always when you when you see superstars you always get the impression that one day they will come to your city, but when it's someone from just another neighborhood somewhere mm. that's very uh, obscure um, figure, you never expect to see them come to your city. You know, mm. so. imagine. I mean, Dale are coming. Dale are solo coming to yeah. Leeds yeah. next month. Yeah. That's going to be good. Are yeah, you guys going? You guys? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Guess but I have seen them live. <laughs> we'll get guest list. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, we love you, Dale are <laughs> Link us up. Yeah, but I've seen, I saw them perform. They performed at the Leeds um, University. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. They performed there a few Stylus, years ago. Yeah. yeah. Was it Stylus? Was that Stylus or was Stylus it at the or? Met? I thought it was the Met. It might have been, well, yeah. I think, I think it was the Met. Right. And um, Doc Brown opened up for them, in- interestingly Whoa. enough. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Doc Brown opened oh. up for him back, back in the day when he mm. was just on the rap. And, yeah. Uh, am, am, I, am I thinking of a different Doc Brown? Is that the one that went on? On the TV. He's on the Ricky Gervais movie now. And yeah. And he's, he's doing the, the BBC show. He's got this kid's mm. show that's really popping off. It's like a, a rhyme show like based in the school. Didn't he go on um what is it called? Uh was, know, that blonde guy, that blonde comedian, what's he called? I know this. Russell Howard. Russell, Russell Howard, Howard. Yeah, 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 he's he went on, on there that, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he deserves everything he's getting now. All all the accolades he's getting now, he deserves it, man. He's put the graft in. Mm. You know. Did you see that um it was on Facebook a bit ago and it was um it was a guy that did a Harry Potter rap? And he did like it was the oh, Harry yeah. Potter beat, and it was just him rapping about Hogwarts and stuff. Okay, but it right. sounded, it's, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll show you afterwards. But yeah. honestly, that was that was lit as the kids say nowadays. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only twenty, so I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm a kid. So, but um, I mean, what are your plans for this year, guys? As just as a team? I mean, you seem like a, just a big one, big lovely family to me. That's what you come yeah. across. Lots of fun, don't we? Yeah. It's yeah. all about the hip hop, I think. Like um, last year in November, we had Hip Hop History Month, and this year I think we're going to be going for the same thing, mm. but bigger and better. Mm. So watch this space. We're trying to get some headliners at the moment. So if you know, if you call me any favors, you know, dear last old, yeah. <laughs> you know, hint hint. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, no, we we keeping it hip hop, and I think it's really important, like you said before, community building, yeah. keeping strong together, or moving as a movement. You know, and that's the main thing, really. So keep liking our Facebook, sharing the Twitter, go on Instagram, like us on there. Follow, follow, follow. Yes, you know, promote ourselves as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just it's just about, yeah. it's like anything, you know, and obviously doing radio, it's just about helping each other out. You know, that's the main thing with anything, you know. Um, I mean, have you got another album planned or have you just sort of just... For I just sort of coming up with ideas. Do you, do you know what you've got? Oh, you mind no. me asking? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I'll let you well, about. we've got we've got um, Agent M. We've got an EP that we're working on called Chunky Bars. Oh, sweet! <laughs> so, I like yeah, the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Stacking them cakes. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's about yeah, it's about having them bars that have weight, and a lot of <laughs> content inside. That's what we're doing. That's what that's what it's about. It's yeah. about you know. So yeah, we're just gonna have fun with that. We've we've got about half of it done, and oh, wow. we're yeah. just working on how to f- how to close it off with the rest. And it's it's sounding pretty good, you know. It's just us doing what we do. It's 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 weird because um, it took us quite a while to get to this point. Yeah. Because um, we we worked. To, it was like every few years we worked together. Because he actually worked on um the music for uh, my music video called Broken Soul. Mm. Yeah. He actually did the music for that and. Um, um, it was basically on the song alone, like the producer that um, just heard the song and he came up with like the whole concept of how it was, how it was put together, man. So, and then and then then that was that, and then like how many years later before we did Beautiful yeah, Place, yeah. <laughs> and then it was a moment that was picked up. So yeah, yeah man, it's a funny thing because it's, it's it's usually like. I'll bump into Bravo and Bravo's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, have you what 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 beats have you got? And yeah. I'll have a beat, I'll have a beat on my phone or whatever. And it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and usually, sometimes it it be like, I don't know. Some producers are a bit like, um, you know, every beat's their baby. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you don't want to give it up. But then like Bravo will just like spit a verse or whatever. And it's just like, right, okay, yeah, you can have this <laughs> every time. Do you know what I mean? So. 
But um, yeah, it's 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 cool working with you know like the guys in Leeds and stuff. I've I've got a phrase called um, Iron Sharp and Zion. Do you know what I mean? It's like when there's people, when you've got people around you, um, you need the right people around you that are going to keep you sharp. Do you know what I mean? That's mm. you know you're not going to get complacent and stuff. And like people like Alan Mack, people like yourself, yeah. you know what I mean? That are producers and stuff. You know, you might play a beat and then Bravo will play a beat, Alamac will play a beat, yeah. Prolific will play a beat, and you're like, whoa, okay, cool. You know, I need to go back to the, you know, go back to the lab and like, you know, produce some more stuff, you know, keep keep that um, that level high. And it, it stops you from being complacent, do you know what I mean? And so, you know, a lot of the stuff like, you know, Bravo's been previewing is because, you know, I've I've been around all the other producers to thought, right, okay, I need to make, make sure I'm stepping my game up, do you know what I mean? So... It works. It works for everybody, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, it works with the lyrics as well. Like, mm. um, there's a strong, there's a strong community of um, of Leeds MCs mm. that are really making a name for themselves. And um, social media has helped. Well, social media has helped a lot yeah. with people to get feedback. I think it's been more easy for people to get feedback and to know what material is is working for them and yeah. and how they can um, push themselves and and craft their style. Um, much more easier because, um, like, when when we was younger, it was all about sending demos yeah. to mm. people just to get some kind of feedback, and then you would get a shot to do an EP, yeah. or maybe. Whereas now, you can just um, just go straight to the people. It's like SoundClouds are brilliant. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, funny enough, how I came across people like Petrelli and you know the North Face, people like that. You know, yeah. Leeds guys like yourselves is just typing in Leeds, and then it comes up with all these people. <laughs> yeah, and then it and then it comes up with suggested. So I went obviously went on your profile, did the yeah. bit of the Bond villain. I always do the Bond villain thing, you know, and have a bit of a <laughs> I find loads of info and then bring people in here. But then, um, <laughs> but um, you know, it comes up a great way with SoundCloud and even even Facebook. It comes up with suggested artists, and I think yeah. Just, no, like you were saying, social media is just—it's yeah. blown up music in general, hasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I think you get back what you you, you put into it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm saying, because like I'm saying, if 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 artists actually put the stuff out there and to learn how to tag themselves, do you know what I mean? And you know, do things right, like add other artists and have conversations with people that actually like their stuff. That's how exactly that's how yeah. you build a fan base. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You see people that say, right, okay, well, you know, I've got a new album, what should I call it? Or what sort of tracks do you want to hear? Or, you know, what sort of, you know, singers or what sort of rappers do you want featuring yeah. on my songs and stuff like that. That's direct to fan kind of, you know, conversations that you're having where you're actually, you know, every artist can be their own label. Do you know what I mean? It's just that they need to have that information that says, right, okay, if Emma wants to put an album out, do you know what I mean? She can. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What you Not sing? Do you know what I mean? Hear me singing, yeah, but people but want to hear you sing. Oh, but <laughs> there's, there's, exactly. some, there's, there's some songs. There's some gems. There's some gems. There's some singing. Yeah, yeah. But this is the thing. If you, you know, it's, it's about two out there. It's about empowering each other. Do you know what I mean? To be able to, say, I've had some real good conversations where people have come. And like they just talked about the music and stuff, and I might have just said one or two things, and light bulbs just ring, and yeah. it's like, well, for me that's just common things, but that person just needed that little bit of advice that's encouraging to say, right, okay, you know what, I can do this. It's it's not it's not like I have to be Def Jam or do you know what I mean? Yeah, or yeah, East yeah. West Records or whatever. Mm. You just pull it out there and and just grow a fan base. Yeah, mm. yeah. Very true. Have you seen your fan base grow in the last last? Um, Last few weeks, then uh, months and years. Just... Yeah, I mean, even like on Sound, I think SoundCloud was the coolest one because um, you know there was one, there's one woman and she she kept like liking a lot of my stuff and like making um, playlists and stuff and you know you you, you obviously your tracks would be on there and I remember I just thought right okay I'm just gonna go say hi because this this woman she was in Hungary do you know what I mean I just said oh you know thanks you know for for you know, support my music and stuff. Mm. And then she came back and she was just like, you know what, this, you know, your music's brilliant and stuff. And she said, you know, after a hard day's work, you know, I go home and drink a glass of wine and listen to your music. And it's like, wow, okay. It means a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stop you there because we're coming to the end of such a yeah. brilliant show. Uh, if people want to contact you, how can they do that, guys? Right, well, for me, um, just you can easily just go on um, djagentm.co.uk and you can find all, all the details to Facebook. and Same. stuff. 
Obviously, well, we're going to be putting videos up on the Try Sun Introducing page. We were live as well. Uh, but thank you very much for coming, guys. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. The set was wow. It was oh. it was great. It was something really we've not seen here, and it was yeah. it was great. But uh, the show will be podcasted on the Facebook page if anyone's missed it. Mm -hmm. uh, join me. Uh, I'm not here next Friday, but join me next Sunday when the band at my house will be in uh, the studio. But bye. Uh, have a good weekend. Rest of your weekend. It's the weekend's over. But ch cheers. Cheers for now, guys. Bye. Bye.